when you wipe your cello, you wipe actually on top of the bridge as well. In the bridge, there's four grooves for the strings here, and if the rosin dust gets not wiped off, it actually the strings get stuck to the bridge. And then whenever you tune with the tuning pegs, the peg, the bridge is actually moving forwards and it's starting sta standing like this. If you're tuning a lot here, it is actually moving in this direction. So um, please, um, when you're tuning there. So what, what you need to do, you always need to um, check after tuning, you need to check how your bridge is standing. Right at this moment, I can come closer. You might be able to see that um, it's actually leaning a little bit in this direction back like this, back like this, and that needs to be corrected. There's only one way to correct that, as you support one hand on the tailpiece, you support one hand on the fingerboard. With both thumbs, you hold very, very tight to the top of the bridge and you move it in that direction, in this instant, in that direction a little bit, so until it's standing straight again. Now it is standing straight, I come close again. I can't see, yeah. Let's see that you can see that this is how it has to stand at all times. The bridge is actually curved at the front, it is straight at the back, so it always looks as if it's a tiny little bit leaning in that direction. So if it's leaning either in that direction or in that direction and you leave it, what will happen is um, the bridge will actually start warping and when the bridge is warped, the vibration of the strings um, doesn't, doesn't reach the body anymore. So as if it's straight, the bridge works as a sound transmitter. When you have it bent, it works like a suspension. So that's when you will need a new bridge. A new bridge is expensive. So if you straighten out your bridge by supporting one hand on the tailpiece, one hand on the fingerboard, and then you straighten your bridge that tiny little bit up with your thumbs. Please never ever do it like this or like this. You break the bridge, you will tip it over. The bridge is only standing under tension. It's not glued to the top.